Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove a bra wire or other foreign object from your washing machine. If during or after a wash cycle, your machine starts to make a strange noise when the drum turns, it may well mean that you have a foreign object trapped between the inner drum and the outer drum. Now, it's essential you remove this as soon as possible, as it could perforate the drum, causing flooding in your home and irreparable damage to your machine. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. Now, as soon as you hear the noise coming from something catching, use a torch and look carefully at the perforations in the inner drum. Slowly turn the drum and try and identify where the noise is coming from. You may be lucky and spot the end of a bra wire And using your hands very carefully or a pair of pliers, ease the bra wire out of the perforations. You might need to turn the drum a little to ease it out. The next problem I'm going to look at is a small item of clothing trapped between the inner and outer drum. If you spin your drum and you can see and feel a lot of resistance in the drum, it may mean that something is trapped between the inner drum and the outer drum. So what you can do is pull a little gap in the seal, in between the seal and the inner drum, and turning the drum again, you may be lucky enough to see the item that's stopping it from turning. However, if you can't, it's a good idea to use a thin, flexible probe, such as a cable tie, and work that around the outside of the inner drum to see if you can feel where the object is. Ah, I can actually see it and feel that we have a cloth trap between the inner and outer drum. If you can pull that out with your fingers, great, but what may well happen in that case is the item will break in half if it's a rag such as this and you don't want the other half being trapped inside the machine. So, to remove this, I'm going to use a flat-headed screwdriver and wedge that between the inner drum and the door seal and then lever it back, just to give me a bit more space to access the item inside. There we go. Managed to get it all out. After removing the object, give your drum a spin to ensure that there isn't too large of a gap between the drum and the seal. If there is, you can easily knock the drum back into place using a wooden mallet, as you don't want a larger gap to appear, making it even easier for clothes and objects to get trapped behind. If you've been unsuccessful in finding the object between the inner drum and the seal, it may well be that it slipped underneath the drum. To access underneath the drum, you're going to have to remove either the heater or the sump hose to find the object. I've just removed the back of the machine and I'll take the heater out to show you how an item could be trapped in the heater itself. And there we can see the item. If you haven't been lucky, and find that the item isn't on the heater, it's worth taking a torch and having a good look inside the heater housing to see if anything's inside there. Failing that, you'll want to gain access to the sump hose from the bottom of the machine. In that instance, it's better if you put the machine onto its side so you can access the sump hose safely. When putting the heater back in, make sure that you push it in firmly and that it engages with the bracket. I put the machine onto its side and remove the base plate here and here we can see the sump hose. I've also loosened the clip so we can ease the hose off and here we can see underneath the drum. So this is another way to access underneath the drum. 
You could also tilt the machine back upright and use a torch to so shine through the perforations. And then if you see an object, you could push it through and access it via the sump opening here. On some models of washing machine, it's possible to remove the drum paddle from inside the drum, which is another way to access underneath the drum. However, on this model, that's not possible. If you've looked at all the techniques in this video and you still can't find the offending item, it may well be that you have to dismantle the drum itself. To do that, please see another eSpares video, how to replace the drum bearings in your washing machine. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.